Goldilocks pricing is it really comes to us from behavioral economics and it basically says if you give the customer one choice you've got a 50 50 chance of closing the deal and that's it if you give customers two choices you will force them into making a price-based decision they'll go okay that one's cheaper probably 60 percent of the time they'll take the cheaper option but when you give them three options there's two things that happen the first thing is the customer says which one am i going to buy and that's a different question to am i going to buy and then the third the second thing that happens is that they force you force them to make a value-based decision so they actually go okay why is there a difference between these three price points because in the previous example with two they've just gravitated towards the price now they start to look at the differences in the features and if you look at any SaaS business online and look at their pricing page you'll see their features are spec'd out and so forth and, that, and you've also got anchoring so th this is <laughs> There's no consistency in this, but a lot of people put their cheapest product on the left and a lot of people put it on the right. I actually prefer it on the left because the first, you know, in Western countries, you read from left to right. So the first price you see is $100 and you go, okay, that's my anchor. And the next one's 50, oh, that's a little bit cheaper. And the next one's five. Okay, I don't want to be a tight ass. I'm not going to go for that one. So I come back to the, the 50. Whereas if you have them the other way around, you see the $5 first and everything else is expensive. You go, oh, that's it. So heroin, pri heroin, heroin pricing price. is just getting customers hooked on your pricing. So, um, and really that's, um, well, getting them hooked on more on your product first and then your pricing. So most product led growth companies at the moment are actually masters at this. So Zoom, it, like we're on at the moment is, is great at this, grab an email address um, and bang, it can start marketing to you and the product drives the growth. Um, if you ask a lot of businesses how, how Slack first started to get used in their business, they've actually got no idea. Because somebody's just come on um, and, and started using it, they've messaged somebody else, it's that network effect, um, and bang, the next thing you know, you've hit the, the limit, you're hooked on the product, the heroin, and bang, you go and buy it.